Let's talk about frames. An animation is created by creating a series of frames, where each frame differs slightly from the previous frame. When you want to add a frame, you simply click on the Add Frame button, and you'll see the frames appear up at the top of the screen. So just say I want to make it look like he's waving. I could slowly move my arm, add another frame, move the arm again, add another frame, move the arm again. And notice I'm moving it in small increments. I'm not making huge jumps. So as you can tell, it will take a long time to make something work, but it's worth it in the end. This section here is called the timeline, and it even shows you the name of the frames. The scroll bar underneath the frames can be used to view any part of the animation if the number of frames exceeds the window. So if I add another frame, add another frame, and notice how now I have one more frame, now I have the scroll bar. So I can scroll back and forth because I had too many frames to fit in the window. The repeat section up here is how many times you want the frame to repeat to appear. This is a way that you can create a pause in an animation without having to create identical frames. To edit a particular frame, simply click in the frame and make the changes that you want. For example, if I want to change the color of it in this frame. If you do not want to keep it and you decide, okay, I don't like what I'm doing, you can simply click in the same frame and notice it sends it back to what it used to look like. If you wanted to keep it, you can simply click on the next frame and notice it saves it. So there is no actual save in the frame thing right now. It's just a matter of deciding whether you want to keep it or not. So if you want to keep it, so if I go here and I make a change, if I want to keep it, I can click in the next frame or I can do add frame. And notice, it's still orange. If I, once again, if I make a change and I do not want to keep it, you can simply click in the same frame and it goes back to the original. If you want to delete a frame, simply click on the frame and click the delete button up here. It will give you this message because this cannot be undone. There is no undo. So if you delete a frame, it is gone. I say yes. And notice my orange guy is gone. You can copy frames by clicking on a frame. And here's the copy button. Looks like the copy button down here. Remember, these apply to the figures. These apply to the frames. I copy it. Write down where I paste it. And it pastes it at the end of the timeline. If you want to insert a frame somewhere besides the end of the timeline, you can copy it, and let's go back so you can see. So I'm going, I have two greenish guys. I'm going to click on it, copy it. Then I'm going to click on the frame I want to insert it between, and it's a right click. So you click on the right hand side, and you do paste insert. And there is the frame. So that's how you insert. And those are the basics of your animation frame control.